So this video lesson is all about percents, fractions, and decimals. Um, and specifically in this lesson, the relationship between them. Now you may have guessed that there's a relationship specifically between percents and fractions as we were going through the two video lessons on what it means to solve a percent, and we saw that we wrote our percentages almost exclusively as the fraction form of a ratio. And in fact, there is a specific relationship, and this video lesson is going to solidify what that relationship specifically is. And of course, because fractions and decimals have a relationship that we've explored before, that means decimals and fractions also are related in some way. So let's go back to the beginning, which is where we really need to start off with to think about what is a fraction, excuse me, what is a percent, and go back to what is a percent. Um, and we started by saying that a percent is a ratio out of 100. The fra in the fraction form of a percent of that ratio, the denominator is 100. In the colon form, the second number is 100. And that's entirely true. And that is only one half of what uh, we need to use to see the relationship between the percent as a fraction. Um, but the second half is that when we use the bars to solve percentage problems, we can see that the percent represents some portion of that whole bar that's been colored in. Maybe we get to 50% and we color it in here, go through, and that's about 50%. Well, that 50% is a portion of the whole, and it's a portion of the whole that is made up from 100 equal parts. That percentage is split into 100 equal parts, and 50% takes 50 of those 100 equal parts. And so, in this sense, we can see it's a fraction. Because not only is it a ratio that is written as a fraction, but it is a portion of a whole that is made up from amounts put together of 100 equal parts of the whole. So that means we can convert it from decimals and fractions and percents and vice versa and between any of them that we're looking at. So first, let's look, what, look at what it means to convert a percent to a fraction. Converting a percent to a fraction is actually something that we've been doing as we've been solving percents without knowing it. To convert a percent to a fraction, all we do is make the percent number in this case, 75, into the numerator and 100, the denominator. And if, we, if you go back and review the two lessons on writing and solving percentage problems, we see that this is the way that we've represented a percent the entire time. So we've been doing this conversion. And then, of course, at this point, though, we simplify, as necessary, to get to 3 fourths. So go ahead and pause the video and look at these um, three problems at the bottom. 42%, 12.5%, and 115%, write them as fractions and simplify them down to their simplest fraction form. Well, in any of these, we just take the percent number, write it on the top of a fraction out of 100. So 42 out of 100, 100. We're going to divide this by 2 because we can't divide it by 4, and we're going to get that this fraction in simplest form is 21 out of 50. For the second one, 12.5%. Um, if we write 12.5 out of 100, we get a fraction that we're not entirely familiar with. But multiplying it by 10, or even by 2, um, multiplying it by 2 gives you 25 out of 200, or by 10 gives you 125 out of 1,000. Simplify that down, that is 1 eighth. And finally, 115% is 115 out of 100. We could simplify this by dividing by 5. To divide this by 5, we get 23 out of 20. And that is the simplest form of that fraction. So 42% is the same as 21 fiftieths. 12.5% is the same as 1 eighth. And 115% is the same as 23 twentieths. Now to Write a percent as a decimal. Because the percent is a fraction with a denominator of 100, we can use fraction division to understand how to write a percent as a decimal. So in this case, 75%, which is 75 over 100, is the same as 75 divided by 100. In fact, any percent is the same as that number divided by 100. So we just divide our percentage number by 100. And what does that mean? 
that means that we are going to move the decimal place two places to the left to make the number smaller because we're dividing it by 100. So 75% move the decimal point two places becomes 0.75. So go ahead and pause the video again and using the same percentages that we saw before, convert these percentages into decimals. Well, this should have been a fairly easy transition here. 42%, we take the number 42. We have our decimal point, move the decimal point two places to the left, and we should get 0 0.42 is 42%. 0 0.125 is 12.5%. And, and for 115, 115 decimal point, move that decimal point two places to the left we get 1.15 is 115%. And finally, converting backwards from decimals to percents, converting from fractions to percents, um, we either need to make the denominator into 100 or convert it into a decimal, which is not too bad. Writing decimals as percents, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to multiply the decimal by 100 because 0.62 we could have arrived at by dividing it by 100. We undo that process to get the percent. So 0.62, going to multiply it by 100%, which is just the same as multiplying it by 100. 0.62, this time we move two places to the right. Because we're making the number bigger, and 0.62 becomes 62%. So instead of, oh, make that 3.001. So instead of moving the decimal place to the left, we move it to the right. So go ahead and pause the video and look at these three numbers on the bottom and see how you can make those into percents. Remember, you just move the decimal point two places to the right and rewrite the number there. So for the first one, 3.54, moving the decimal place two places to the right puts it at the end of the number, 354%. 0.963, moving it two places to the right, puts the decimal point between the 6 and 3, 96.3%. And 3.001, moving the decimal point two places to the right, puts it between the second zero and the 1, 300.1%. Now, if you feel like you are completely solid with each of these conversions, converting a percent to a fraction, may get a fraction out of 100 and simplify. Converting a percent to a decimal, which is moving the decimal point two places to the left because we're dividing by 100. Or a decimal to percent where we are undoing the act of making a percent into a decimal by multiplying by 100. If you feel like you're solid with all three of those, you can go ahead and stop the video now. If you would like to do four more practice problems, there are four more practice problems here. Again, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and pause the video, look at these practice problems, um, and then come back and we will review the answers. So for number one, 42.5% to a decimal and a fraction. I included both of those and I intentionally put decimal first because it's easier moving the decimal point two places to the left. Um, in our conversion from percents to, to decimals gives a decimal of 0 0.425. That decimal is easily changed to a fraction using the rules that we learned about changing decimals to fractions, which is this decimal is 425 thousandths, so this fraction is 425 thousandths. Simplifying this so that we get the simplest answer that we have, dividing it by 25. 100 divided by 25 is 40. 425 divided by 25 is 17. 17 fortieths. 42.5%, four, uh, 0.425, or, 40, or the other way that we could do it is 425 over 100, which still simplifies down to 17 fortieths.
Uh, for number two, 175% to a decimal is a fraction as a decimal, that is 1.75, because we move the decimal 0.2 places to the left. As a fraction, we either take um, 1 and 75 hundredths, We write it as 175 over 100. Either way, that simplifies to 1 and 3 fourths. For number 3, 0.945 to a percent, that transition is simple. Move the decimal point two places to the right. 94.5%. And 2.91 to a percent, again, two decimal places to the right. 291%. So as a quick review to convert a percent to a fraction, you simply write the percent as a fraction out of 100. To convert a percent to a dec decimal, you divide by 100 using the idea that it's a fraction over 100. So a fraction bar is also um, indicates divided by. And to convert a decimal to a percent, you do the opposite of a percent by decimal, which is multiply the decimal by 100.